Now, hello boys and girls. Emily, are you going to say hello? Hello. Now, boys and girls, this morning you join us and Emily has some exciting things to show us. Emily, what do you have here? What's this? Who's this? Anna. That's Anna. And what else do you have? Who's this? Who's this that you've got? Anna. No, who's this? Elsa. That's Elsa. And what about this? Who's this? Aloof. Aloof. I think we call them Olaf, don't we? And Kristoff. And Kristoff. And who's this? And Sven. Sven, yes. And you love all of these characters, don't you? Yes. Emily loves Elsa. And she loves this big castle. Do you want to show the boys and girls what the castle does? You press the button. You press the button. Oh, it makes noises, doesn't it? <laughs> and Emily loves this. And do you know, boys and girls, this is all uh, from a kingdom called Arendelle. And this morning we're going to think about a kingdom. And the thing, kingdom that we're going to think about isn't the kingdom of Arendelle. It's God's kingdom. If you go to Matthew 6 in the Bible, in verse 33, there Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God. Now what is a kingdom? Well, a kingdom is a place where there's a king and the king rules and makes the laws and there are people who live under that king and they obey the laws and they honour the king and whenever Jesus says seek first God's kingdom, what does he mean? Well, we all naturally want to be the king and queen of our own kingdom, don't we? We want to do things our own way. We want to make up our own rules. We want to live the way that we want to live. And so when Jesus said that, he's reminding us that the most important thing for us is to seek God's kingdom. Now, how can we become part of God's kingdom? Well, we don't deserve to be part of God's kingdom because we are all sinners. We all rebel against God and do things that are wrong. But that's why God sent Jesus to die on the cross so that he would take the punishment for all of the wrong things that we have done and so we could be forgiven and have all of that wrong wiped away and we could become part of God's kingdom. And so if you have trusted in Jesus and if you have turned away from all of those wrong things that we do and ask God to forgive you, then you become part of God's kingdom. And so this is a good verse that we need to remember. We, we are to seek God's kingdom first. So often in life we can be tempted to think about other things, about the things that we want the things that we want to get, the things that we want to do. And yet the most important thing in life is that we seek God's kingdom first before everything else. Let's just pray this morning as we think about this verse. Father God, we thank you that you are the king and we thank you that you invite us to be part of your kingdom by trusting in what Jesus has done. Thank you for all the boys and girls who are listening this morning. We pray that you will bless them and their families. And we pray that you will open their eyes and help them to trust in Jesus, that they may be part of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen.